Hi everybody. Today we're going to go on a field trip to the Dominican Republic and we're going to hang out with Chuck from Zorzal Cacao. And this episode is really good because Chuck goes into a deep dive of what's actually going on in fermentation. And they've got a really good facility set up, a really good protocol, and it's helping them get really good cacao. So, we'll see you there. So we're at Zorzel Cacao, the fermentorium, and this is where um, the first step is after the cacao rise, we weigh it, we do our quality control metrics, we measure the sugar level, um, make sure it's not overripe, and we try to get it here as quickly as possible after the harvest, which means within four hours or so, so we're not losing all those sugars that can be used to accelerate the fermentation. So what happens here is a fermentation process that is a process where the beans are put in the wooden boxes and there's sugar, there's pulp on outside of the cacao, okay? There's yeast, microorganisms that feed on that pulp. Essentially the pulp is fuel. It's sugar that the um, yeast can then eat on and it produces ethanol, okay? So it produces alcohol and starts to heat up the fermentation process. The first box, first two days, is an anaerobic process, and you want that to be closed out from air as much as possible so the yeast can consume that pulp without dying. Eventually it will die and convert to ethanol. After two days here, you oxidize it, it becomes aerobic, and goes to the second stage level boxes. At that point, you're in an ethanol phase. So it's, when you smell, you can smell the ethanol, and they, it starts to heat up to around 80, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, in day three. In day four, you're probably around 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then it converts ethanol into acidic acid. In day three, four, you're heavy acidic acid into day five. So you go two days here, anaerobic, yeast eating, sugar, convert to another two days where you're now into ethanol. Ethanol then converts to acidic acid, and you go to the next box, day four, and the final box in the tier, day five, or day six. So it's two days, two days, one day, one day. That's the um, rotations we've selected that produces the best quality beans. Um, and it's something that is not the only thing that's needed to be done well to produce great quality beans, but it probably one of the top three or four things that you absolutely need to do well to have a fine flavored beef.